here in Cabo. It's 6.20 a.m. Try to get up a little bit earlier today so that we can catch, I can get a video of the sunrise going on and it's beautiful out here. Uh, oh look, that's, you guys hear that? That's the anchor. It's the ship's anchor. We're here in Cabo. Got some more fishing boats going out. There was a few whales just right here in front of the boat. I don't see them anymore. It's pretty amazing to watch. Good morning everybody, we have finally made it to Cabo San Lucas, uh, they are already letting people go aboard, uh, go ashore I believe, um, it is currently I believe around 640, 650 um, in the morning, almost 7 o'clock, um, John got to watch the sunrise while I got ready because I needed a little bit more sleep, um, so hopefully you get to see some of that footage. Uh, he saw some whales this morning, so we are most definitely going to see some whales on this luxury day sale today that we have going on. We have to be uh, getting ready and going ashore around 8 o'clock. Um, our excursion starts at 8.45, so uh, if you do have one of those excursions, just make sure that you remind yourself that you have to take a tender boat in order to get to uh, the dock at Cabo San Lucas because the ship is way too big to be able to go through their uh, little port. Uh, but yeah, that's all that's going on today. Uh, we'll keep you updated and show some great footage of Cabo San Lucas today. just to look for our excursion um, and check in and enjoy a relaxing and amazing day and see some whales. Ready? Ready. Alright, so we made it onto the sailboat and now it's just time to relax, enjoy this nice breeze. It is beautiful today here in Cabo San Lucas. The weather is amazing, it's not too hot. Ready to go. And we're sailing. It's beautiful. Oh, there might be some uh, sea lions. That's what they're called, sea lions, right? Yes. There might be some sea lions as we head out of the port. Uh, because they like to hop on the back of the sailboats that bring in uh, the fish after they've uh, gone out and caught some for the day.
check it out people this is amazing uh, we're getting ready to look at the arc the arc or is it the arch arch the arch Alright, so now we're going to the other side of the uh, arch. arch. It's Which? known as the Boar's Feet, and it's because the sea and the ocean meet together. They're in high tides, and then when it's low tide, it separates. So we made it to the area where snorkeling is happening. Um, I'm not gonna go snorkeling, I'm not gonna hop into the water today, uh, but there are a ton of people here. And if you look right down um, over the boat, there are a ton of fish down there. You can see, the, see it through the waters, uh, which is great. Uh, so today we're just gonna chill on the boat and relax and soak up the sun because once we get back to Arizona, it's gonna be freezing. Um, so we're just gonna enjoy this day and yeah, watch, watch all the fishes swim on by. Super great excursion, we enjoyed it. We are back at Cabo San Lucas on the pier. Um, there are tons of places to shop around here if you're interested in doing all of those things. Uh, but we always give this tour a thumbs up. We didn't get the chance to fly the sails today because it's not enough, wind. Uh, not enough wind. It's not windy enough to be able to do it. But we did get to see a lot of whales today, uh, more than normal. Uh, so very cool. We're gonna get ready to hop back on the ship, uh, go work out, get ready for dinner because we are at the steakhouse tonight. So stay tuned. It's Cruz Elegant Night tonight and we're ready. We're making our way down to the steakhouse. Alright, so uh, we're trying to find a place to hide a duck. That is a really super pretty person. Super cool. Behind me, you will see uh, the guitar player that they have on the ship. His name is Yates. He's a great guy. You guys should really check him out. He's from Texas. You can find him playing here in the atrium or sometimes in the Pick and Anger. And also, Carnival does this thing that I talked about the other night where they like to mix up their musicians and their singers and add them into shows and various things. So sometimes he'll play with the band. Sometimes he'll play with a duo. Sometimes they even have them with the playlist cast. So you have to go and check it out. Uh, but he's a great guy, super, super down to earth. And this is only his second week on the ship. So be sure to check him out.
All right, guys, so we just got done at the steakhouse. Um, it was wonderful. I had the surf and turf, the onion soup. I do highly recommend that at least one night out of your cruise that you go and check out the steakhouse, no matter which boat you are on, uh, because Carnival does a fantastic job of having a decadent menu. Um, so I had the onion soup, I did the surf and turf. My sides were the mushrooms and onion rings because you can't go wrong with onion rings. And I actually skipped out on uh, dessert because that was so stuffed. I was like, I cannot have anything else. But I did order a coffee to go along with it and it was great. John, what did you get? So I got the cowboy steak, uh, some french fries, some onion rings, very good. Um, I highly recommend the cowboy steak. It's probably the best uh, cut of steak that they have there. Tonight, I think we're going to go check out maybe some karaoke. We're going to listen to some live music going on around the ship. They do have what's called One Night Only going on in the Liquid Lounge today where the uh, band is playing and they have seats laid out and you just go in there and enjoy some live music. Uh, not too sure if they're going to be adding any other groups on the ship or even single people um, on the ship playing. Uh, but we'll see what's going on and just keep you tuned in on what's going on with footage to come. All right, good morning everybody. So last night we didn't close out the vlog because uh, John and I decided to turn it in for the night. We watched the duo and then we said, let's go to the room and just relax. It was a long day. We had the luxury day sale and we had a full, full stomachs after the steakhouse. So we decided to call it easy, go to the room, finish a movie and just go to bed. But this morning we have our last sea day today. We are headed to the Lido deck right now to go and grab some coffee maybe a little Danish or something small. Um, and then we are gonna go to the trivia that's held in the Liquid Lounge today for general knowledge because we got to win that ship on a stick at some point. Um, so we're gonna try to go do that and then we'll see where the day leads us. from a mother and daughter cruise Kathy, Teresa, Pam, Cindy, Kim from Mississippi, Mississippi and Oklahoma. I found a duck. All right guys, so we talked about how John signed up through Facebook on one of the Carnival Panorama Cruise Week pages um, and how we brought 25 items uh, to share with 25 cabins, just a small little thing. So we did a chapstick, one of our cards, um, some candy in it, and then we went and delivered it to the other rooms and we received a pot of gold. Let's look at all of these things. So. Uh, we have some like medical things, so uh, there's band-aids there, there's ibuprofen, Tylenol, a bunch of sanitizer stuff, oceans, koozies, a bunch of ducks, things that you can wear throughout the week, a bunch of pens, uh, we received a lot of candy, uh, some books, magnets, face masks, and 
um, just things that we can enjoy, take home. Um, and we are so excited. Thank you to everybody that uh, participated in this and for enjoyed, uh, inviting us to be able to participate in this. All right, so it's still a little windy, a little chilly, but the sun's out. It's uh, 10 a.m., so hopefully towards the uh, end of the day, it'll be nice and warm. sun is out everybody it's still a little bit foggy however we're at the back of the ship and it feels great back here so we are here at the Lido deck on deck 10 um, grabbing some lunch. I got a little bit of everything. I got some potato salad, some chicken, roasted vegetables, calamari, beef and broccoli, some soup, salad. So that's what we're eating. We're gonna grub and then talk to you soon. We are in the liquid lounge. We're about to see a Q&A with our cruise director Christian. And it doesn't stand for question and answer. It stands for question and awesome with our cruise director. Uh, we're quite excited to just hear random things. This is like, I highly recommend, and I've recommended a lot of stuff, but this is like, you're trying to look for something to do on a sea day, and you see a Q&A. Normally you're like, eh, I'm not gonna go to that. But this is something you wanna show up to because this is where you get to hear uh, stories from your cruise director, perspectives, even some um, helpful hints and things uh, to look for in a cruise ship or on any cruise. Uh, they do give out some advice at these things. So I highly recommend that you come and check it out. Don't overlook it on your fun times. Go and see what's going on. Uh, talk about entertainment, talk about the ship as well. I've been doing this for nine years, folks, so I've learned a lot of random facts about the ship as well, depending on your job, right? And then our vacation time, how that works out. Pretty much uh, for every month you work, they usually give us about a week off, right? So to deserve it, to get here, and I just want to make sure they, they get that. So that's the mission I'm on. Thank you, thank you. I found a dog, I found a dog. I found a duck. It is from the Lombard family that's from Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Very cool. It's an astronaut. All right, good evening, y'all. We are uh, dressed, ready for uh, dinner and all the things that we're gonna do. Uh, today, I'm hiding our last duck that I have named Big Mama. We're gonna find a place that it goes, but the lucky person that gets it once they pull this tab right here this duck starts to flash and um it's gonna be a whole lot of fun for the person that finds it so we're gonna go and hide this duck and head to karaoke i'll promote you guys if you want huh? i know some people are good like four thousand on tx to my new friend john john my new friend john and his wife over here Hi, honey. All right. We just found out a new whiskey. It's our latest ever. That is, it's good, right? No? It's good, yeah. T TX. TX, that's what we need. Texas. All right, protect. Let me live back really great uh, boat that really really has enforced karaoke like people will love it uh, you have to be here early to do signups or you're gonna be stuck like 30 minutes to an hour out uh, to sign up but luckily I was the first one to go so now we just get to relax and watch some people sing all right y'all we hit our last duck um, so goodbye big mama enjoy this cruise hopefully somebody finds you because John hit it and I don't think anybody's gonna find this one <laughs> 
All right, so guys, behind me are part of the fun shops. Uh, so to this side, uh, you will find an area where you can find a bunch of perfume, uh, cologne, and uh, normally they have really, really great sales on these. And then they also have makeup. So for all the ladies um, that are looking for makeup, these are duty-free stores, so they don't charge um, nearly as much as you would get in the States. Um, and then they, there are also um, jewelry shops around and just various souvenirs that you can buy as well. So we are here at dinner. Uh, we already ordered our food. So for our appetizers, I got the uh, dill lemon comfort soup. It's super good. Uh, shrimp cocktail, of course, always a fan favorite. And then John got the Caesar salad. Uh, we have more food coming on the way, so just watch more footage coming. Rooms. They've also been there at, with your early morning cup of, room, of uh, coffee through room service. That's how early they start the day. Some of them work at the Lido at the Lido Tech, ladies and gentlemen. Also at the senior breakfast and brunch during the daytime. And in the evenings, they've come back into the dining rooms. They've served us, entertained us, and I think out of 4,000. Everybody, this is Ruben from the Philippines. Yes. Him and his team, they've been doing a great, great job. Agreed. All yes. right. Learn Ruben. a little. Yes. Ruben. Woo. Oh, it's not allowed to take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank please. You, Thank, Thank you. you. Hope to see you next. Oh, yeah. That was the last right. time dining here on the Panorama. We it was a dined great in the dinner. Horizon restaurant before yes, we Horizon. Uh, forget to tell you. We're the Horizon restaurant located on deck three. And now we're going to go and check out the duo because what a better way to end our night than go and check out the duo. Yeah, these guys are great. It's the Folk Fo Kai. Folk Kai. Yeah, they have an Instagram page, so check them out. The folk I do, everybody, they've been great. They take requests, they've been playing the great variety of music. We've enjoyed them all cruise long. We highly suggest that you up and check them out. But we're gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys in the next time. Yes. Good morning, everybody. It's debarkation day. The last day of our cruise, we are, the boat's making its way to the port of Long Beach. We will soon be uh, debarking and heading home. And picking up the dogs. That's right, we gotta go pick up our dogs. Yep, super excited, but it has been a great cruise. We've loved it. Uh, John and I have constantly said, like, it feels like every day was just super, super long, but in the most best way that we're getting everything out of the cruise that we could. Um, so if you're ever looking into cruising, we recommend that you check out Carnival. They always do a great job. Uh, they get to know you by your name um, and have great service, amazing entertainment, and just everything that you could possibly want in a cruise. 
So um, as you're getting ready to end watching our series on this one, uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share with friends, family, anybody that you see um, our stuff.